Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you just a small update on this pendulum set of mine. Uh, everything is the same. I removed all the LEDs and I have now uh, three sets of four coils in series. So this coil over here with this coil and the other one on the back side in the same layout or in series, those are four. The two on the front side and the two on the back side are also in series. And the two over here, this one and this one, are in series in combination with the two on the back side on the same layout. Uh, all of the three sets are giving me, yeah, roughly 10 volts, but not constant. The peak 10 volts, so it's not bad gonna give it a little run for you guys let me connect the leads it's gonna be run on 12.5 volts something like that give it a push It is still running on, uh, yeah, roughly 40 milliamps. That's the meter on the right side. And what is going back into uh, the system from the back EMF is around, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Let's say, yeah, 30 to 35, not more. That's the meter on the left side. Right side input, left side back EMF back to the source and the uh, voltage of the battery is 12.6 or 12.5 let me turn it a little bit you can see the back side this is how the uh, coils are wired up looks like a rocket but anyway it's the only way I can um, uh, connect them so they can be in series. So same as the front side, this coil over here and this one over here is in series with the two on the front side and the same line out. This coil over here and this one are in series with the two, same line out in series. And so are these two. So I have three sets of four coils each. And they give me roughly yeah around 10 volt AC not constantly so uh, next step will be or I'm gonna put all of these trees in parallel or all of these trees in series if that's possible gonna stop this for a little while so I can show you forgot to show you guys last time as you can see this is the magnets that's being pulled by the coil over there and these two are copper rods or copper slugs. Uh, I find these in a heat sink for, uh, for your PC. Very heavy. So this part of the pendulum arm is pretty heavy. That's the reason I put two of these over there. Start it up once more time. Like I said, just a quick update. We will see if uh, this coil will help me to make it just a little bit more efficient. So roughly 40 milliamps in and roughly, yeah, I don't know, between 30 and 35, let's say 32, 33 milliamps back. And hopefully I can get some milliamps after the coils. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching.